everybody. It is Sunday morning. It is around 9 a.m. Um, this morning I went for a run on the canal. It was so peaceful and so amazing. And also I um, then met up with a friend for breakfast. So it's been a really nice quiet morning, but the friend I need to catch up with the most right now is all of you. It has been a while and let me tell you, I don't know if the rest of you feel, I feel like a lot of you feel this. September and October are just, actually for me, August, September, and October are just crazy months. It's just consuming to get just my real work done um, and still stay connected to family. I think on top of that, these three months, I've also been training for a half marathon, which I completed in September um, at the end of the month. Uh, and it was amazing and a cool experience. I'm signed up for two more, one in January, one in May. Um, I love running. It's kind of become therapy for me, but September and October have just been crazy months. Um, I've also felt a lot of anxiety and stress more so than I've ever felt before. Um, and I think what's interesting is I've started to shift the language of like, it's not anxiety, I'm, well, no, it's not stress that I'm feeling, it's actually pressure to do a really good job and not let anyone down. Because if you look up the definition of stress, it's about like not having the resources um, to complete something. And um, basically the definition of stress doesn't fit what I've been feeling. I've been feeling pressure. And I also know that the pressure that I feel is mostly placed on me, by me. So trying to find the balance around that and also understanding to feel pressure means that you truly care about what you're doing. And it's a privilege. Billie Jean King said, pressure is a privilege. So really stepping back, identifying where the pressure is coming from and understanding that it comes from a place of like caring so much about what I do. And I have always told you, um, and I'm unapologetic about it, is that YouTube always has to fit in my life. I will never make my life fit into YouTube. This is um, a hobby, a passion, something that I love to do, something that brings me so much joy. Um, but I also know that with that, a social media presence has to have like a, a, a balance. So this will always be a priority, but will never be the top of my priorities. So when work is busy, um, I will always prioritize family and work and time for myself to recover and be happy. Um, but with that, I am happy to be back and hopefully, I feel like a little air has been left out of the balloon and I have a little bit more space to do this, so I'm excited. Um, and we're gonna dive into vlogging like we never missed each other. Um, throughout this vlog, I'm gonna answer some Q&A questions that people have had and we're going to talk about advent calendars. And I think that's where I'm gonna start because right now is the season for advent calendars. So I have a bunch in my dining room that have already been delivered and then I already pulled some up on my laptop that I'm waiting to have delivered. They have been shipped and I just haven't received them yet. So let's talk about advent calendars. I will also make sure that all of these are linked. Um, here's some decor items. This garland is going to be for the living room and kitchen this year. It's beautiful flocked. Um, this is Vickerman is a really good brand of garland. They're expensive, but very full. This flocking is gonna be a mess to work with. And then I got these really cute velvet green reindeer on Target's website. I will leave all of these linked below for you. All right, so advent calendars. Let's talk about some of the ones I've already purchased. So this one looks very small, but when you know what's in it, it needs to be small. It is an enamel pin. You guys all know I love an enamel pin uh, on like my jacket or on my bag that I carry. It's 25 enamel pins. I figured ones I don't like, I'll give as gifts. Ones that I like, I'll keep. I got this from the site uh, Mary Mary. I will leave everything linked below. But right there is the site name. Then I got this nativity one. 
Um, it's in like this beautiful little trunk. I'm really excited about it. They also have the woodland creature in this little trunk this year, but it is no different than the one I bought last year. So I decided to do the nativity. Really excited about that. Then I also bought, and it's beautiful. I love the Nutcracker, and they had a Nutcracker scene. Hold on to me. Let me sit you down so I can slide this off. They had a Nutcracker scene advent calendar, and it's just so, like the packaging. So like there's like a little set behind it, and then in it are all the little openings and they did it like this little book style. I will tell you, it is so well done. Um, I think the joy of an advent calendar truly comes from the packaging, so I'm really excited. Other ones that I already had delivered is this Bark uh, 24 festive holiday cookies. So this is Bubba's advent calendar. I'm excited for him. This one came from World Market. I will keep, um, I will definitely link this below. Then I got Stephen and I this one from Williams Sonoma. It's just a simple chocolate advent calendar. Uh, nothing super special. This one is the one I'm most excited for. So I knew that this would resonate with a lot of you. This one is from The Body Shop. This year they have two advent calendars. This one is more expensive. However, every bath and body product is completely vegan. I also love that they've done it like this little box style. Oh, we already ruined day six, but look at the sample size for that. That's amazing. We're not gonna look at that. We're gonna slide that right back in there. And then each day you turn it and it will spell something. So I'm really, really excited about this one. And now I've made it a mess. So yes, this one is completely vegan. Bath and Body Products from The Body Shop. Super excited, they have one that is non-vegan as well. Now let me show you all the other ones that I ordered. We're doing advent calendars big this year. First one here is the David's Tea. So their packaging this year is stellar. And you open up and each one will be like in a little box. I, they package their teas a little differently every year. One year it was tins, this year it looks like they're in little sachet Container. So that one has been ordered. Like I said, all of these are linked below. So that's 24 days of tea. The next one I ordered is this one from Kiki K. This is a stationary lover's advent calendar. I loved last year's Kiki K. The packaging was a little tricky. Some of the things slid out, but I'm giving it another try because I've truly used so many of the things that came. Um, and it has a rose gold theme, so I'm excited about that one. They also have um, a 12 day one that's cheaper, and they also have this one. I didn't order it, but they have an eraser advent calendar that I think is like cute and interesting. Like each one is like a little eraser. That's a cute little gift. So, Kiki K. Then I, if you remember, Jen Ross gifted me the Sugarfina advent calendar last year and it was so amazing that I ordered it again from Neiman Marcus. So this is the advent calendar. It looks so stinking cute this year. Once again, packaging of an advent calendar makes it. The next one that I ordered that I thought was really interesting, it's only a seven day advent calendar, so I'm gonna use it the week leading up to Christmas, but it's a self-care advent calendar. So each of the seven days has a different self-care saying as well as a self-care product. So there's a daily cleanse in this one, but I thought this was a really interesting take on an advent calendar. This is sometimes a season where we forget to take care of ourselves. Then I also picked up this one from Paper Chase. It's another stationary advent calendar. So really excited about it. It looks really cute. You know I love planners and stationery, so I find that these are the things that I use the most. Stock level is still really good on this one. Just make sure that you do a ship to the US because this is a UK based company. And then lastly, every year Steven gets this for me. Um, but I think this year's is exceptionally 
more beautiful than ever before. This is the Diptyque Advent Calendar. I think it is arriving on the 24th, but this is what it looks like this year. It's really colorful. Um, I'm super excited about it. It also looks like there's some new things added in this year, which I'm excited about. So this will be the first year that it's really a little bit different than past years. I probably won't open every single one every single day. Um, well, I mean, I will open them every single day, but I probably won't show every single one every single day because I think that's a little overkill, but they bring us a lot of joy. And Steven and I don't really buy each other a lot of gifts for Christmas. Um, so, advent calendars all linked down below. It is the season to buy them all. There's also one more advent calendar I'm super interested in. My mom is going to see if she can get it because our grocery stores don't sell wine. Um, and we also don't have Kroger's, but Kroger's is doing a wine advent calendar. Um, and my mom is gonna see if she can get her hands on it. The Aldi one is like impossible to find, but it's supposed to be super amazing, but really hard to find. Um, yeah, so those are advent calendars. That's what's happening. So yeah, I really wanna decorate for Christmas, like desperately. But if you look at my house, I have Halloween decorations up and that lampshade's crooked. Also, another question that everyone will be asking is, what books am I reading for Christmas? So let me show you the books that I am so far planning. I need to buy one more. I wanna buy the 19th Christmas. It's supposed to be fantastic. But I'm going to be reading A Christmas Party. It's a seasonal murder mystery, but they also said it's pretty funny. And then this one, which I had pre-ordered, is The Christmas Shopaholic. And then The 19th Christmas, those are gonna be my three books that I'll start reading November 1st. Two books that I've read the last couple weeks that are phenomenal. I read this in two days. My Sister the Serial Killer, it is fantastic. I absolutely loved it. And then Women Talking. I would compare this a little bit to like A Handmaid's Tale. Oh wait, Margaret, I didn't even catch this. That Margaret Atwood actually wrote um, this amazing, sad, shocking, but touching novel based on real life events could be right out of The Handmaid's Tale. That, I didn't even know that was on there. Um, it's absolutely a fantastic book. Um, these two really love them. They are heavy, um, and serious, but I really, really like them. So it'll be a nice transition to some light Christmas novels. I feel like there are a thousand things I want to tell you. Um, but... We'll get there when we get there. Also could use some shaving. So my friend that I met for breakfast also has a love for Radon and knows how much I love it. So she picked me up these two candles, Hello Fall and Pumpkin. So stinking cute. And then also got me this little travel mug. This is trick or treat. So I will totally be using this for the rest of October, but these candles smell delicious. Ugh, this made my day. I will be doing an advent calendar for kindness. It's gonna be different this year. Um, some of the things will be the same, but it's going to look different, um, and it's going to have some different things on there. It will be released the last week of November. Super excited about it. Um, yeah, so that's coming. I've done one draft. I'm so excited about Vlogmas this year. Also, every day of Vlogmas will have a different theme each week, so every day is assigned a theme. Um, I'm really pumped about that. You'll learn about that later. Um, and then, what else am I super excited about? Um, oh, I find, there's only one intro for Vlogmas this year, but it's so good, and I love it. Um, and it's just the vibe that I wanted, so I'm pumped. I'm pumped this year for Vlogmas, but I gotta show you some planners, because I got the 2020 planners sent to me from Kit Life. They are beautiful and I gotta share them with you. So I think that everything is about packaging and Kit Life packaging. These boxes are so sturdy and so nice. So I got to give them already a big thumbs up for packaging. So this is, there's a weekly one and a daily one. Which one's this? Okay, I wanna say this one that this is the daily, and I'm so obsessed with the cover. But let me show you what Kit Life sent me. First of all, they sent a holiday planner, which I'm going to be using. It'll be featured in Vlogmas a lot, but it is just an amazing 
easy, simplified planner for the holidays. What I love particularly is they also put a place for gratitude and just a bunch of empty pages. So this will be my planner for the holiday season. Um, I will leave Kit Life linked down below, but I am so excited to use this this year. All right, here is the glimpse of the first 2020 planner. Beautiful silver coil, beautiful hard cover. I love this little square shape. I think it's like very different for planners um, to see like this very neat and clean, like perfect square. You have like this nice pocket. Um, the color scheme is very simple, very muted, but it's a very simple monthly spread and then a week afterwards. Very simple. I love the spread. If you like a really clean, simple one, every month has an aspirational attribute, a kindness challenge, which is right up my alley, in the kitchen, a little something extra, and then monthly maintenance. I really think that's like a really simple way to keep it clean, but also like make the month a little fun. Very, very nice. Love it. They're, the quality of their pages and their covers, ugh. It's, it's exceptional. It's truly exceptional. But this one, oh, this planner, when you see the cover, it is beautiful. Look at the cover. The beautiful gold coils, the gold foiled burst in the center. It's absolutely stunning. You see that the colors are a little bit more vibrant on this one, which I really like too. January, so like it's all super colorful, but the same thing, as aspirational attribute, kindness challenge in the kitchen, a little something extra, monthly maintenance and observations and celebrations. So then you have your beautiful monthly spread. I love all the colors. It previews the previous month and previews the upcoming month. Well, I guess that's not a preview. Captures the previous month. Then this is a daily page. So you have the big three, self-care, a time from six to eight, then a gratitude and active and eat well, and then like a drafting section. Really beautiful. So you have that for every day, and then the weekend just shares a page. I love it. It's so beautiful. I just love the colorful tabs, but it's truly the cover. Oh, so stunning. I'm gonna leave them linked below because I think they killed the game with their 2020 planners. Killed the game. And if you want to be really a part of Vlogmas with me, you can pick up this holiday planner because I will be using it and doing a little planning in it as the holiday season approaches. Thought I would catch you guys up a little bit more today around some things because I did a Q&A around... Uh, I did a Q&A a while ago and then with everything going on and being so busy, I didn't have time to actually do it all and I knew I wanted to embed it into the vlog. So a question that I got several times is like, what has been your go-to bag for the fall? Like what have you been using? I've actually been using the same bag for travel and everything for like the last, oh goodness, probably since May. No, June. So like last five months. It is a bag I picked up from Lululemon. What's cool is it has a shoulder strap, but it's also a backpack. It has a place for my laptop. Um, my 15 inch MacBook fits, it, fits in there. Um, my work computer is 13 inches, so that definitely fits with like some extra room. It's amazing. I absolutely love it. I use it all of the time. It is my go-to. I've traveled with it and used it as like a carry-on bag. It's been incredible. If it's still available because Lululemon does switch out their products a lot, um, if it's still available, I will leave it linked down below because I'm telling you, it's my favorite. Also, my gym bag is from Lululemon and it has been my go-to gym bag now for the better part of a year um, because when I was training for that marathon, I would sometimes take my running clothes to work and like, uh, yeah, I love it. Absolutely love it. And then the last bag that I used a lot, especially for our Vermont trip, is an MZ Wallace quilted bag in a midnight blue. 
it's fantastic as well. It's super light, you can bunch it up. It's really great for traveling. Those have been like my three go-to bags. I'm gonna leave them all linked for you because they're just phenomenal and I 100% because I use bags really hard, I 100% would recommend them to everyone because they're amazing. This little lighter is so amazing. Um, and with it being candle lighting season, I just think it's great because those Bic lighters only last so long and you're constantly tossing them away. This one just charges with a USB. I've talked about it a bunch of times. It's called the Warpy. Um, I got it on Amazon. It's amazing. And you never have to buy those Bic lighters again. Thought I'd end with answering some of the questions um, from the Q&A that I had posted on Instagram. I told you I'd get to some of them. So I thought I would answer some of them. One bad habit you have. Only one. Also, I cut myself shaving, so. Um, only one. Um, I have so many. I think one of my worst habits would be um, creating stories in my head with no evidence to back them up. That's one of my worst. And then it like becomes debilitating. If you could live anywhere in the world, where would you live? Um, Estremoz, Portugal. Steven and I went there one summer and it was amazing. Actually not a summer, we went in like February and it was amazing. Did you ever find your Hocus Pocus mug? Yes, and I paid an absorbent amount of money for it online. I think I paid like $50 for the mug, but I got my hands on it. Running advice for someone trying to run more than 5K. Um, uh, I think like find a program that feels doable online, but I would say the way I did it is I did four miles two times a week. So I usually did Tuesdays and Thursdays, four miles, four miles. Then on Saturday I would do two to three and then Sunday do a really long run and just make sure you give yourself days in between to rest. Favorite fall activity, wine touring, would definitely my, be my favorite. Favorite way to de-stress, a bath and a book. How do you get up so early? Um, I'm just that person. Sleeping in is really hard for me, so um, getting up um, early is crucial because I can't rush out the door. I need time to like wake up slowly. Jen Ross just wrote, you're amazing, I love you. That's it. Her and I were texting this week and just uh, giving each other some uh, much needed friend support. Would you ever get Bubba's a brother or sister? No, the reason is is because he's getting older and really slowing down um, and we would never want him to think, although like how would we know? We would never want him to think that we were like replacing him. Favorite reality show, Guilty Pleasure, any of the housewives, except I guess I can't say that anymore. I feel like the only housewives I watch now are New York, Orange County, Beverly Hills. I used to really love Atlanta. It used would have been my favorite. I just feel like it's gotten so crazy, but Atlanta would have been like one of my top favorites. Um, I would say like up until like the last two or three years, it just got real, it just got too much. What are your favorite pizza toppings? Um, mushrooms, jalapenos would be my two favorite. What fall winter essentials are you adding to your home this year? And wardrobe. Uh, a lot of vests. Um, for like as far as uh, clothing goes and uh, some Chelsea boots in like a really light camel color. Um, as far as my home, a lot of like chunky like knitted pillows and blankets this year. I think you'll see those a lot more around the house. Um, yeah, I'm not, I don't know. Like just chunky knits, I would say around the house. And some more oversized sweaters, of course, because I love an oversized sweater, like partially tucked in. How do you stay so positive? Um, I would say that I always think about someone having it much worse. Um, even when I'm anxious and stressed, I'm anxious and feeling a lot of pressure. I um, still remain really positive uh, because in those moments, that's the only thing that sometimes will get you through. I just always remember that like someone has it so much worse. And then I always remember like, out of all my tough days, I've survived 100% of them. So most likely I will survive this one. What's your favorite like to heck with calories food? 
I would go more savory than anything. I would say like chicken tenders and fries. Like I would go savory if I was just gonna like throw it out the window. I'm like much more savory than sweet. Oh, Kit Life planners asked me, uh, bucket list travel, Austria is definitely one of them. Clothing coming on strong from Amazon, have you tried any? No, but I'm game to try some. Um, one of my good friends, Brittany, wrote, can I be you when I grow up? She's already amazing, so, um, Brittany, you could be, um, you're already many things. Do you run every day? No, I just answered that. I usually run Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday, Sunday. What are your Vlogmas plans? I already alluded to some of those. What will your next vacation destination be? We considered Austria for Christmas, but I actually just told Stephen that I would prefer just to stay home and relax. Are you in, still in touch with Marnie? Never hear either of you mention the other one anymore. Marnie and I actually just texted and talked on the phone maybe a couple, well, now maybe about a month ago, but yeah, totally. You just heard me mention her. Yeah, we just texted. I, if she was in Vermont and I was supposed to get her a list of recommendations and I didn't, that's totally my bad. But um, she actually texted me a picture while she was in Vermont too. But yeah, still in touch. She's lovely. She has been nothing but always so kind and nice to me. I would say like all the YouTubers you've heard me mention um, have always been so kind and generous with their time and just amazing. What are your three must-haves for the season? Um, really good candles, really good throw blankets, and a fireplace. Must-haves. What race are you running next? I'm running a winter half marathon in January, like I said, and then a spring marathon in May. The most asked question is by far, are you doing Vlogmas? Which makes me happy. That means you guys really like it. And I think this year's Vlogmas is going to be amazing. How is your mom feeling? My mom is actually doing amazing. Her back is still really bothering her. And I guess it comes and goes. But my mom has lost like over 50 pounds. She's walking every day. She feels amazing. She looks amazing. They actually came up for the half marathon. It was so nice to have them. I didn't want to vlog because I don't get many... A lot, I don't get a lot of time with my parents, so I really wanted to take advantage of it and enjoy it. Do you have a housekeeper because your house is so clean? This is another one that I get constantly. Steven and I do not have a house cleaner. We had a really bad experience several years ago with one. Um, no, we keep the house really clean ourselves. Um, I clean most of the weekends, but our house is always this neat. Like, we just don't leave stuff out. Like, we don't go to bed unless the house is picked up. Do you have... Any posting regrets looking back on your time on YouTube? Absolutely none. And I think I'm really fortunate to um, say that. I also think that you can look at my channel now and you can look at it when I started it, is it three years ago? Three years ago? Three and a half years ago? Um, there is absolutely nothing that I am ashamed of because what I've never tried to do is be something I'm not. So what you see way back then and what you see now is the same exact person. If anything, I think I've like grown up a little bit more um, and become a little bit wiser perhaps, but I have absolutely no regrets. I've never said anything on my channel that I regret. I've never done anything that I regret. I'm, But that's also because I've been who I am. Like I've never tried to be anything else. Anyone who knows me in real life, um, and I think Danielle can attest to this, um, I am exactly the same person. Like I am, like, yeah, no regrets. I guess I'll end with this one because it's a little motivational going into Monday. What advice would you give someone having a hard time with workout motivation? Um, first thing I would say is find out if you like working out more to like an audiobook, a podcast, or music. For me, it's always music for the most part. Um, and make sure that those playlists are really good. The next thing I would say is always remember that you're worth it and that you will show yourself more love and more value and um, feel better about yourself after every workout. Um, whether you reach the goals you had in that workout or not, I think like at the end of it, you should never feel anything but really proud of yourself for just doing it. 
And I think remembering that on the other side of it, there are so many days after work, it's the last thing I wanna do. But I also know that on the other side of it, I'm gonna to need to feel so much better. And I have never, ever, ever left a workout feeling worse about myself. Just never. I've never left a workout feeling worse about myself. I always feel better. So I think that's what you always remember. Um, and do it even though you don't want to. Make yourself. And then eventually it becomes a habit and you need it. So. That would be my advice. All right, my friends, this vlog has been very long. I'm looking at the time ticking on this, so it's gonna be like a 30 minute vlog, but I'm going to end it like I end all of them. Take care of yourself, take care of others, and be kind. Kindness is free. Give it to everyone. Until next time.